Well, welcome to day eight of my GR11 adventure. And what a day it's been. Um, in the mountains proper now. And yesterday I camped just the other side of uh, the small town of Ithaba. I camped uh, in some beautiful pine forestry. And then today I climbed 900 meters up to a col and then descended down to La Mina, uh, followed by another uh, 400 meter climb up to where I am now and uh, I'm just looking at the map I'm in the uh, Aguas Aguas Tuertas uh, and behind me that mountain up there is the Punta Alta da Portaza and uh, I couldn't have asked for a finer place to put the tent um, over the moon um, there's a river running through here I've got a full body immersion a proper proper wash clothes are are washed and drying and um, thoroughly enjoying the experience of being here in the uh, in the higher mountains now. Um, all the day I've had the, the sound of marmots which is uh, lovely to hear. It reminds me of my time in the Alps so many times it's the sound of, uh, of the mountains as far as I'm concerned and um, tomorrow I head uh, out of this location up onto another col uh, down to uh, my first mountain lake and uh, I don't know where I'm going to camp but um, I've got two days to get to Kandanchu so uh, I'll just uh, see how I get on.
Well, welcome to day 10 of my GR11 adventure and uh, I've had a cracking morning. I camped uh, just below the uh, Puerto de Isa col and uh, climbed over into the Cirque d'Asp. I had stunning, stunning views uh, east and saw my first chamois of the trip as well. And there was a, uh, quite a large herd in the, uh, at the top of the valley. Uh, they'll never let you get that close, but uh, I managed to get one photograph of, uh, of one, which I'm really pleased with. Um, so now I'm at the Paso de Tucablanca, and as you can probably tell from the, from the video, I'm sat on a chairlift. So this is the, uh, I believe, the highest point of the Candan Chu uh, ski resort area. Uh, so I'm now going to descend down to Candan Chu and, uh, and resupply there. But ahead of me, uh, as I enter the Cirque d'Asp, uh, fantastic views of the Peak du Midi d'Ossau, which is uh, in uh, in France. It's the huge mountain which dominates the uh, the horizon, and uh, all I can see ahead of me are the serrated edges of sharp Pyrenean peaks uh, stabbing into the sky. And uh, I'm going to be walking through them in the in the next week or so. So uh, lots and lots to look forward to. Good morning and good morning from day 12 of my GR11 adventure. Can't believe uh, it's day 12 already. Uh, the days are flying by. Anyway, um, that call just there is where I'm going and that's the highest call on the GR11. It's the Cuello de Pare and it is 2,765 meters above sea level. It's described in the book as the hardest of all the uh, calls to get over. Um, there's a big scree slope to get up and I can see at the top there there's a, a small snow field as well and I've spoken to some GR11 travellers coming in the opposite direction and they've said it's not a problem um, the snow field just take your time get across it and uh, you'll soon be over I have a couple of big days to get to here so uh, I'm gonna get up to the col descend down the other side and then look for a camp and have a, an easier day today um, just to recover from the last couple of long hard days where I've been doing a lot of climbing so uh, Yep, day 12. Thank you. 
So it's day 13 of my G11 adventure. I'm just reflecting on the last couple of days. Yesterday, I went over the highest point on the G11, the uh, Queer de Tabari, and that was just wonderful. A bit of uh, scrambling, a bit of exposure, perfectly safe, of course, but just uh, added a bit of uh, frissons to the uh, to the route. And then I descended down and camped up the Ibon Azul Alto, which was spectacularly located. And uh, today I've climbed up to the Ibon Brizato here. Um, uh, 700 meter climb from the valley below. And I've got another 300 meters or so to get to the col. And then I'm going to descend down. And then tomorrow I'm going to arrive in Tawla. Um, and I'm going to take a rest day in Tawla. There are three or four campsites there. It's at the entrance to the Pyrenees National Park. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting some uh, town food. Um, and uh, just having a having a rest for a day. And then um, starting all over again as I enter what I hope is going to be spectacular scenery as I uh, enter the Odessa Canyon. So um, yeah, two weeks nearly done and uh, heading into the third week. <laughs>